Hello, everybody. Uh, so I've been working on this data for a little while, and I finally got it. Uh, it was basically 2,000 data points. Um, if you're familiar with this list, it's called the Global 2000, um, and it's a list of the 2,000 uh, largest companies in the world. Um, you can sort this by region as well, um, but I grabbed all 2,000 and uh, basically plotted those um, so that you can look at the data and I'll try to provide a link so that you can uh, take this data. Now, I did have to filter this so it isn't precisely 2,000. There are certain data points that I didn't even trust uh, what uh, what the list was saying. So, uh, But in general, uh, what you can see here is some interesting points, right? So this, uh, first, let's, let's look at all the data just kind of jumbled up. So uh, if you look at this data kind of just as it's, listed in the 2000 list so um you know these are the largest companies in the world and then just all of them so you can see that what, what i was primarily interested in was actually profit so uh what i did and there's just a ton of data here so uh and it's even slowing my computer down just to try to uh, grab it so this is the largest company in the world and so on and uh, uh how they calculated that uh, is debatable so you know there's basically profits assets and market value so I, I believe market value is the stock market value um, and uh, assets is how much assets they have so they might have real estate uh, for instance um, and then their profits and then their sales so what I was primarily interested in is comparing the sales versus profit so I just basically did percent profit so the percent profit is actually slightly different uh, depending on the amount of sales so um, some companies have higher or lower so I wanted to primarily so I was thinking about this from like my perspective right so like I'm interested in trying to start a business and basically these are the percentage profits so in each one of these business categories um, I was imagining that how much they sell um, is kind of a function of their profit, uh, but not always, right? So, for example, uh, they don't have a whole lot of sales, but they have a lot of assets, uh, but their profits are pretty high. So maybe that uh, they get a lot of uh, return from some of their assets here, and so on. So, uh, uh, but to make a long story short, uh, you got to actually think about it. I have thought about this quite a bit. Um, for at least about a month or so to kind of get you this data and it's even taking a long time just to switch screens here because there's 2000 data points so uh that's all the data right there um this is this so basically when you when you when you look at this data um and it's really slow unfortunately sorry guys um, let me pause this uh sorry there it is so uh because there's just so many data points here i mean there's basically uh, 2,000 times, I don't know how many shirts I have. So, um, But basically, the cool things about this that I noticed is that, uh, so if you look at the uh, percent profit, um, so these are companies uh, where their sales are $1 billion, say, for, per year, and they have $10 billion, $100 billion, and even upwards of $500. Um, so uh, that's quite a lot. So you can see that obviously it would make sense that as you're selling more, um, that perhaps you would have to give your customers a better deal to even sell at that kind of volume. So you do see that. But the interesting thing right here is if you look at these data points in here, this is about 26%, 25%, 34%. Uh, so right around here is about 25% profit. So it's 25% profit. And then you can see 25, 22, 20%. So right at, right at $5 billion worth of sales, they're at about 20% profit. And then you can see right here going down 14%, 12, 10, 11, and then right about 10% at $10 billion worth of sales. And then the lowest point is right around here at 5% profit. So, and that pretty much can stays consistent all the way through here, right? This is 5%, 5%, and then they start to actually even go up again here. And this is a little bit. It's just really scattered at this point. So this is on a log log graph to make it look like this. Um, so the actual data kind of looked like this originally. So this is not log log. So you can see most of the companies are smaller and then a few of them are bigger. So some of these data points out in here are harder to see because there's just not a lot of data to uh, prove what 
uh, those data points are. So in general, right around here, you can see this is at 1%. So technically, if you cut off the top end, you could kind of say that the main graph, which I have down here, is probably the correct answer. So if you just do a simple equation uh, of what profit versus sales is, you basically want to say it's just linear all the way down. So this would basically go down to 0%. At, if you're making an infinite amount of money, your profit margin is zero, basically. So, uh, And you can kind of see that on this graph, and this makes it look a little bit more straightforward but you can see there's kind of a grouping here where you you could kind of fit this as one curve so maybe going like this and then up again so for me uh what this would suggest is kind of a if the if you did this on a bell curve or something like that it if you're making no money you make no profit so that would make sense so you'd say that the bell curve kind of fits right around here with the peak being at about 17, 15%. So if you were kind of working on this, uh, but then the other way to look at this is that maybe you should just, uh, uh, you know, you should be making 100% profit if you're just getting started. Maybe you just talk with people, talk with them about what you're working on. Maybe that's the other philosophy. But if you're selling a product, Maybe you have to just give it away at the same time. So that's where the conflict of these wide varieties happen here. Um, and uh, I'm not sure what to say about that. So here you can see it's a slightly different equation than I added. Same data, so you can kind of see. So on this line, you see that uh, this one shows about 17%, right? So the other one, I think, was... Uh, so this is total profit versus sales. And then this one, if you do the uh, graph, this is showing slightly more. So this is you know, somewhere between 25% and 15%. So it's really hard to say uh, what the exact low end number would be. Um, this one, uh, this is a polynomial expression for this to get this kind of like loop here and then down. So you'd say if they're making an infinite amount of money, it would eventually have to drop down to zero again and um, stuff like that. So, uh, and then here you have total assets. So this uh, is just a different data set. Um, I wanted to kind of see, okay, so like what is the stock market value? So this is interesting because on this, you can kind of see the 10% showing up as a lot more of a point. So in the stock market in general, this is hovering around 10% profit. So if we were looking at that data, we want to see that the company, uh, you know, there's a lot of them below this, but in general, there's a lot of little data points in here that pull this whole equation up. And actually, as the market, at least according to the stock market, as you increase your side, so if you're paying attention to what I'm talking about here, essentially, as this as the total market cap so this is like the largest companies in the world their profit margins are like 26 percent 25 percent right or even more this is 33 percent and this guy was at 50 percent so some of these largest companies in the world actually it's getting the bet at least from the investment stand, community standpoint so this isn't necessarily the, the value of their assets so even on the value of their assets you see a slight little dip here so there's slight difference here so yes they have more assets but they're actually they're going down in the profit margin it's only so it's like once you get to this trillion dollar of assets mark you're basically 15 percent profit margin and then you drop to about six percent or so so these are pretty interesting results if you think about it um and uh yeah i'm gonna probably even publish these uh just to discuss them with some others um, but i hope you've enjoyed it uh let me know what you think uh, i'm gonna probably follow up this with a lot of other data as well but uh, uh you can grab uh so basically if you want to do this yourself you can i'll try to send a link here but there is uh, a uh, Forbes list here, just Forbes.com, Global 2000. Uh, forget about this key here. Uh, but uh, uh, but anyway, so basically that's that. And then, 
you know, you might want to also take a look at this. This is the price to earnings ratio. You can just see. So essentially, this is the price of the stock. The total values of the stock market capitalization or so divided by the earnings. You can see that uh, quite a number of companies are not really on the uh, perhaps way overvalued. So and then the other way is price to sales. And then you can see that, uh, all right, so a little more of these companies are starting to look reasonable because they're sales. So the earnings is profit of profit. Um, but you probably want to look at price to earnings. Um, but anyway, so here you got uh, uh, basically price to book value, which is uh, their assets and, and other things like that. So there are other ways to look at this. Um, and uh, definitely there's the Wikipedia page here. Um, there's the page I worked on and so on. But uh General, hope you enjoyed this data. Uh, I think just to think about this in general, um, you know, like if I'm working on a company, I want to try to, uh, you know, look at this data. I think uh, the tent, like, so in general, the sales is an important aspect here. So this graph basically kind of convinces me. Of a couple things so it would be nice to kind of if you look at this everything is clustered at the higher end so in general if you're just getting started in your business with a small amount of sales it looks like very few people are up here above 50 percent right and most of them are right in this like when you're right getting started maybe 30 percent profit margin 35 percent or something so you know if you're if your sales are, you know, like I like T-shirts or food that you're selling, you know, if you sell ten dollars item for food, you want to be making at least three bucks of that in profit. So, uh, kind of gives you that perspective. So, and 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 there's not. I mean, this data actually shows probably around 25%. So if you look at this data point here, this is like 27%, 25%. So this looks pretty stable on that end. So I think because it's so clustered here, these clustering points don't show how many points are right here at 25%. So, uh, so again, what this would mean is like, you know, for the uh, food example, you know, if you have an item that is, uh, you know, three dollars that you're selling uh, in food or let's say five dollars worth of food you know essentially you want to multiply that or uh, divide that by four right and that's uh, you know 75 percent would be ex expenses including packaging for the food and so so ten dollars right that would be uh, you know, essentially two dollars and fifty cents would be your profit but uh, seven dollars and fifty cents would include the uh, you know, everything else, growing the food, all the supplies, getting the product to the customer, marketing, employment costs, everything. So basically 25% is pretty much, if you can't cut that, you're in trouble. So, and it's only as you get to be, you know, I, I, I think you could probably pull this down and you could, you know, if you're in business, maybe you could make 3% profit right there are some examples in here like this is a 12 percent and but these are only one data point here so and again this company is making 130 million dollars per year so that's probably bigger than what you're trying to do but um but uh anyway so uh and it's interesting to see that obviously as you start to get get bigger your profit margins will probably come down too right so that's what happened here and but certainly if you're below 5%, man, you're really kind of, uh, no one's going below 5% profit margin on this. So that's pretty much incept for these guys right in here, right? These guys are sales of uh, $364 billion. So uh, if you want to, you can check any of these data points. I did delete a number of data points that I was unhappy with on this data just personally. So it is quite a big chore to grab all this data. And uh, there's even special equations that I use to kind of reg extract these to grab. There's little Bs in here, little negative points, and I have to also multiply it by or divided by a thousand, depending on if it's a million or a billion, because there's billions in here, and then there's also millions. So there's a number of ways to look at this data. I, I graphed it uh, in terms of uh, some other things here. 
you might just look at these. I, I didn't want to get into all the details. This shows the actual company so you can see uh, profits for these largest ones in the world. So actually the profits are quite a bit more for these. Uh, uh, you can see Berkshire Hathaway and also this oil company have actually the most profits. So it's not really even sorted by profit. So an early profit is really what makes the business successful. So I, I really wanted to focus on that and uh, kind of look at that. So and uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, studying this with me. Uh, my computer's <laughs> really slow on this because there's just thousands and thousands of data points. Um, but uh, uh, but in general, I'm pretty comfortable with this data. I feel like it's uh, accurate, and uh, I went through it and pretty carefully looked at it. Um, there's a lot of problems um, in terms of uh, just certain things. So, but uh, you know, little little details that I had to delete in the data points, but. Uh, but you can see that this is the vast majority of the data and even if some of these outliers are incorrect You know, which they probably are even on Forbes side. They don't really know what these are. So maybe they had to estimate um, so uh, but um, But it is kind of clustered you can see the clustering here on this data point set and and that is kind of most of the companies on the smaller side and this so uh, obviously above so what we want to see here is above $120 billion, which is a ton of money. Basically, we don't really know what these, uh, so we can go back to these these data points. So it, somewhere around in here, so it's basically at this point, at the 5% mark. So we can probably trust most of the data up into this this range here, maybe this first hump, uh, you know, actually 120, I'm sorry. So that brings us up into about here. So actually these first two humps are pretty accurate probably. So this just shows that these are very few data points at this point. So basically we want to kind of cut it off right around here. But um, but uh, so you can kind of see that uh, this is probably accurate. There's probably a drop here at 50 billion and then another upswing right around. What is that? So it's about 83, 80, 80, 82 billion right and then this this peak right here is at about 44 45 billion so you can see that and then this last peak is at 135 so uh basically if you're on one of the in one of these companies you're working for a company even if you're uh, working for a very large company that's uh, has sales you can just look it up and kind of estimate uh you can kind of say all right so like like if i'm a circuit designer or a uh, you know, whatever kind of person working at some company, you can kind of uh, estimate what, uh, you know, if you have some kind of sales. So anyway, I thought it was super interesting. Um, I really would like to talk with some other people, find out what other people think about this data um, and uh, kind of discuss it, uh, you know, particularly on the low end side. So I'd be interested in seeing like, okay, so if you're starting a business, uh, what do you think about this idea? 25% profit margin. It looks like this is pretty it's like there's a lot of a kind of an agreement here about this uh, or even the 10 percent. so somewhere between 10 and 25 percent is a, well it's basically five percent so right so the, the agreement here is somewhere between five percent and 25 percent is the agreed profit margin in the industry and i just wanted to kind of see so how do we kind of uh how do we figure that out like where where exactly how, how do we decide what what the profit should be on a given product and of course that depends on a lot of different factors but in general it's uh, pretty consistent here so uh let me know what you think i hope you enjoyed it and uh uh thanks